Hello everyone, I'm Tommy with Studio Sense and welcome to another fragrance review video. Today we've got a really cool fragrance to take a look at. So if you've never heard of Pepe Jeans before, when we come back I'm going to introduce you to the very first fragrance that you've never heard of, but you're going to wish you had. That and more, so stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. Thanks so much for tuning into my channel today. I'm really happy to have you here because I'm excited to check out a fragrance from the house of Pepe Jeans. It is called Pepe Jeans of London Celebrate for him because there's a for her version and I'll show you what that looks like up there. It's really cool, especially when they're together. A lot of fragrances that are designed are designed to come in a pair for him and her similar to say uh, Zadig et Voltaire. This is him and then this is her. That collection, it's like a rock or a marble slab that's been broken in two and the two halves form the bottles for his and hers. And it's a really cool concept. That wasn't necessarily done for this fragrance, but the concept is there. Let's take a look at the presentation. This is kind of one of those presentations that you have to see up close and personal to really appreciate. This looks like something that Tom Cruise would throw over his shoulder back in 1988. It's a cocktail shaker. So we've got a nice gold top and a blue studded, that's right, the glass is studded. So for whatever reason, maybe I'm used to seeing an actual cocktail shaker, but in the marketing materials and the photos, it looks a lot larger than what it actually is in your hand. It doesn't look like a 100 ml bottle, but that's what this is. It's a 100 ml bottle. It is an eau de parfum concentration. I like the presentation. It's, it's pretty cool and, and kitschy. Their clothes are very fashion forward and the idea of positivity is infused, obviously, in the character of the presentation of Celebrate for Him. Let's check out that juice. Celebrate for Him features top notes of lime and black currant, heart notes of clary sage, cinnamon, tonka bean, cacao, and juniper, resting on a base of birch, patchouli, and amber wood. So you've got lime, you've got black currant, which is going to be a bright, fruity, citric opening. It's going to graduate into some spice and a little bit of sweet with some clary sage, some tonka bean, and add the cinnamon in the heart there. Then we get the primary attributes of tonka, birch, patchouli, and cedar wood, making it a very, very woody gourmand fragrance. Now, I'm excited to try this. This morning when I took a shower, I specifically didn't put anything on in anticipation of this review. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my skin here. I don't bust the... Uh, glass with my tungsten ring. Cool. It's a nice burst atomizer, so throws a good bit of juice in a, in a short burst there. I like that. For a split second there, my brain registered pineapple, but there's no pineapple in this, so it's a combination of that lime and that black currant. However, there is one fragrance that this specifically reminds me of, and that is Stronger With You by Emporio Armani. This is more Tonka, whereas Stronger With You is toffee. Stronger With You, Stronger With You intensely especially, has a little bit more caramel toffee creaminess to it. This has more of a powdery Tonka. The lime and the black currant are, are juicy and fresh, so it's maintaining that into the dry down a little bit. So you get that Stronger With You sweetness. I love sweetness when done well in a masculine man's fragrance. And this is very masculine, but it does have that appeal, that gourmand appeal. When we get into the edibles of this, it's going the way of tonka, powdery, but it's got more of a youthful spirit. This one is vibing more youthful, energetic. I would say the target audience of this is a little bit younger than Stronger With You. I just mean energetic and ready to go out there and have new adventures and new experiences. And really that's the idea behind the word celebrate when you think about it. Whether you're celebrating with friends or just celebrating life. This is 2021. Everybody still has New Year's resolutions ideas of, of new adventures, a new chapter of their life. 
starting fresh, starting over, celebrating. So I think it's a great fragrance to start the new year with and to kick it off just right. So a combination of the lime, blackcurrant, clary sage, and juniper berry, to me, feels a little bit like yuzu. And yuzu is a great fragrance a note and a chord in modern men's fragrance and especially to add to a gourmand fragrance it kind of gives this an edge of like a citric green a green citrus edge to this which is really fresh and especially fresh in a winter fragrance because I would categorize this as a winter fragrance this is not something you're gonna want to wear in the heat of summer especially the high heat of summer but it's definitely something that you can wear in fall in winter and I would even say that you can wear this in spring as long as those spring days are slightly cool on the spectrum of weather as long as they stay on the cooler side rather than the hot side. Gourmand and especially sweet gourmand fragrances don't do well in heat. I like that spin on the gourmand sweet type of fragrance with that almost yuzu like combination of the the lime, the black currant, uh, the clary sage and the bracing juniper berry. I think that's a perfect combination to infuse into a gourmand fragrance because it gives it the energy and the vitality that uh, we all want our fragrances to have to a degree anyway. So if you're getting ready to go somewhere and getting ready to get involved in a wintertime activity, especially if you're going to like a coffee house and you're meeting up with friends, this would be the perfect fragrance to accompany that environment, that scenario. And uh, of course it is going to be as a result of that an attention getter. It's a very pleasant fragrance. It's not overpowering. It's not in your face. And as, as it dries down, that sweetness is dialing back quite a bit. To me, stronger with you is stronger than this in terms of the sweetness. So this to me has a little bit less sweetness, but I like the energy and I like the vibe of Celebrate. It's a really neat idea. It's not an overused trope, I think. It is a trope for sure, but as a plot device and a fragrance, I think it's still very fresh and it's still something that we can get a lot out of. It's not trying to take itself very seriously, so it is a playful fragrance as well. Can you dress it up? Well, that's a good question. It really depends on how you interpret this as to whether you can dress it up or not. I would say straight out of the bottle, this isn't really a dressed up fragrance. Um, I would say semi-formally it would be okay, but this is gonna be, as it's all about celebration and relaxing and spending time with friends, that is a wholly casual event, typically. So. I would recommend this as a casual wear fragrance for cooler weather on into spring. Celebrate for Him by Pepe Jeans is a solid, solid gourmand offering. It is extremely enjoyable. It's definitely gonna be a compliment puller and a compliment getter, I guarantee you that. All right guys, that wraps up my unboxing and first impression of Pepe Jeans of London's Celebrate for Him. I think it's a fantastic offering in the gourmand category of fragrances for men. While I don't think it is a banger or a beast of projection that's gonna be great in a nightclub, I do think it's a nice intimate fragrance that dials back after about an hour or two, probably about six to seven hours of longevity, which in my book is really good. So it's gonna be a really solid offering at a fantastic cost. It's one of those affordable gourmand fragrances that's heavy on the tonka, light on the powder, medium on the sweet, but it is chock full of energy, positivity, and good vibes. It's got some nice green citrix in there as well to keep the spirits up. It is a fresh, fresh take on a gourmand fragrance for fall and winter. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out my video today. As always, thank you so much for your support on my channel. I'm Tommy with StudioSense, and I'll see you tomorrow. Seriously.